Hey, so if you're running Google ads for your business and you're not auditing your account on a regular basis, you're really missing out on maximizing your return on ad spend from Google ads. So everyone audits their accounts when things tank and things go bad, right? That's whenever you're putting a microscope underneath the performance and you're figuring out where things went south. But what I'm suggesting is actually just auditing your account on a regular basis anyway, so you can unlock new strategies, get fresh perspectives on what the competitors are doing in the marketplace and how you should probably iterate on your strategy and uncover cover any potential issues before things tank. In this video, I'm actually going to show you a real client account and I'm going to take you through a real audit to give you my exact thought process and explain some of the decisions I make while going through the account. If you watch this video, you'll get some new ideas and figure out how a freestyle audit goes. Of course, we have our checklist and things to check, but I'm just going to do this one off the cuff. Let's hope it comes out good. All right, so now we're in the client account. This client's name is... And what I'm going to be looking into today is I'm going to be looking if there's any way we can actually get cheaper costs per qualified leads in the account and scale up volume. So I'm going to take you through that now. So the first thing I typically like to do is compare performance. That usually gives me the biggest indicator that something might be wrong. Typically, I'll just probably come up here. I'll duplicate the tab and then I'll come back here and I'm going to go into the date range and I'm just going to compare the data. So I'm probably going to do like previous 30 day period. So when I'm comparing the date range, I typically want to find an equivalent period so I can get a good measure of before and after. So for this example, I'm actually going to measure all of the previous month to the month prior to it. So I like to just isolate the data really quickly. And then I'm going to go into it here and actually see where we were doing better. So it looks like in January, we actually had more conversions on this day than we did in February. So it looks like we had a bit drop there. So overall, yeah, this this drop in conversions looks about right. We went down um, a good chunk in conversions. So that doesn't really tell us the whole picture, but I already see that there's something I should be looking into. And that is the overall drop in conversion volume. The second thing is I'm already noticing that CTR dropped pretty heavily, actually. And I know we launched a lot of new initiatives for this client. We were testing out some new audiences and some new keywords and sort of like a location keyword combination thing for them. So let me look into this because it looks like overall CTR was just dropping, dropping, dropping steadily um, last month and then fell into some, you know, not so good territory of like 3.5%, whereas we were getting like 4.8% even 6%, 7% on some days, which is pretty good. By the way, like having 3% CTR in Google search, that's, that's pretty good actually, but we were trying to get way higher than that. Um, I think industry standard is like 3% or, or lower uh, across the board, but yeah, we're always trying to push higher. So first things first is I've just made a mental note that CTR has dropped and our overall conversion volume has dropped. Now our, our, our spend actually dropped a little bit, because probably it was a shorter month, so I'm not too worried about that. Cost per conversion went up slightly, not too concerned about that. We did have a big spike here though on this day. I'm gonna probably dig deeper into that, made a little mental note there. Um, but first, I want to pick one thing to go after. So when you're on the account, there's so much we can look into. We can look into you know, search results, we can look into auction insights. We can look into maybe what factors are causing a drop in CTR. First things first, I actually wanna see the CTR over the conversion part, because that one looks like a pretty steady downtrend. So there's gonna be some clear correlations of what happened there. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go over to the campaigns. Cool, so let's see what's going on here. I'm inside my campaigns. I'm actually just gonna go over to the campaigns that matter the most. I know we're going after qualified leads is one of our top metrics. Um, these B2B leads are very valuable for the client. So even one qualified B2B lead can turn into a pretty lucrative deal for them and has in the past. So um, I'm just gonna be focusing on the qualified leads for the most part of this video and the cost for qualified lead. I'm not gonna focus on all conversions because every client account or even your account is gonna have some specific key metric that you like to track. For some B2B software companies, it's book demos. For the B2B companies, it's more of qualified leads coming through and they're passing through a certain second step checklist or second form where they upload some documentation that makes them qualified. Uh, it, it's really different for every company. So in this case, I'm really just gonna be focused on qualified leads. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna filter down the data that I'm looking at. So there's a lot of data and it's easy to get kind of confused and lose your place. So I can go ahead, click on add filter, uh, campaign name, and I could do contains. I'm just gonna put a little money bag emoji, which is what I put, and just filter down to specific campaigns now. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna look into the ads 
and see what happened to the CTR on the specific ad. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the clicks and do a CTR. And turn off, actually, I'm just gonna do a CTR here and turn off clicks on the second one so I can see one chart at a time. Keep it simple, keep it minimal and clean. So this is sort of what I suspected. It looks like CTR was dropping um, even for these high value campaigns. We were starting at about 7% at the beginning of the month, ended off around 2.89%. That's pretty bad. So I wanna see what happened here for these specific campaigns. Now I know we got some fundings and results look good, but the reason why I say schedule an audit for your account at regular intervals is because even if you're getting good results, there still could be things happening when you dig deeper that need to be improved because maybe you can get even better results. So don't just audit an account when things are on fire. Audit an account at regular intervals so you can always be tweaking the performance let's see what we got here i'm gonna go ahead and add some more columns so i can track ctr um, and clicks i'm gonna go ahead and click on save or apply to sort the data and i don't want to be looking at ads with a very small sample size because that can really skew what i'm looking at so i'm sorting by clicks first and then i'm going to look at ctr after because if an ad only got one click or two clicks and the ctr is way off like that's not a big deal it's a very insignificant number of clicks and can easily skew the data so I'm gonna do it here to make it even easier for me is I'm actually gonna filter down based on clicks. So basically only show me ads that had like, I don't know, five or more clicks. So I'm kind of looking for a smoking gun. I'm looking for little data points that tell me what's going on and what can we do to improve the account and see if this really affects the overall performance. So, so far, all I can really see is that some ads were getting about three X the amount of clicks they were getting the prior month and the CTR dropped, right? But just looking at the all campaigns and ad level, it doesn't really tell me what's going on in the account. You actually need to get way more granular and we need to go to the ad group level because this isn't gonna say specifically what's happening because maybe the specific keywords we were bidding on changed towards certain ad copies and that's why the CTR dropped because we started bidding more aggressively on keywords that people found less relevant to the specific ads that we were running, to the specific ad text and therefore CTR drops. So, so far, nothing really helps me here. I'm gonna move on to the next part. And I actually just realized I didn't click into any campaign. So I was just seeing all the ads. So first things first, click on the specific campaign that you wanna see the ads for. I wanna see this one and then click down into the ads and extensions tab here. But you, before you do that, you can actually go to the ad groups level like I was mentioning and then actually see which campaign we want to look at first. So it looks like this campaign targeting is actually getting most of the clicks. So I'm actually going to jump into this one first. Great. Now I'm looking at just the ads for that specific ad group in this specific campaign that I know was driving sales. And I'm trying to see if there's any way to improve the results we're already getting. So I can actually see that two of the low performing ads were paused the two months ago and they left the other two that were performing better live, right? So that was a good decision right there. I'm glad they paused those because the CTR was slightly lower and it was just getting uh, less clicks. All right, so I looked at the account some more. The ads didn't really give me any kind of insight to why the CTR was dropping for one of the ads and, and increasing for the other ad and the conversion rates increased. So now what I'm gonna do is actually wanna go into the keyword level because that's gonna give me a better pulse because maybe we're bidding on some keywords that we weren't previously and that's what's hurting our click-through rate. All right, so just a reminder too as well, for this specific account, we care about qualified leads. So I went ahead and added that as a column. And now I'm sorting by cost to see if there's been any major changes in terms of what we're spending on which keywords and how that's affected our qualified leads coming through. So I know I'm jumping all over the place, found another optimization here. So I already see that one of these ads that we're running should just be paused because we're actually getting a much higher CTR even recently almost a 5% click-through rate on one ad versus the second one bringing barely a 2% click-through rate. Also, it's getting a much cheaper cost per conversion than the old ad we're running. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this ad off because it's actually losing across the board on this test. So just that minor cleanup right there actually gave us a few more percentage points of click-through rate, which is gonna help with our overall cost per click. And it's even helped with our cost per conversion, surprisingly. So these kind of little tweaks, even though they seem very minor, have a very big impact, especially when you add them all together with the other optimizations you can make in the account. 
So let's keep going. So I'm in another ad group now. And now that I was on the something and I found an ad that had significantly lower CTR, I'm basically just gonna follow that thread and check our other ad groups to see if there's ads with much lower click through rate. And that could be why it's dragging down our overall click through rate, which is gonna hurt our cost per click and a bunch of other things. So I'm inside this campaign right here, inside this ad group. And I immediately found that we have another ad that is also dragging down the CTR. So we're gonna go in and kill this ad too as well. Basically ad number one, where it's mentioning specific industries in the description is giving us a much lower CTR than ad number two, where we took out the industries in the description the headline is exactly the same. We just changed the ad description here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the ad that has the 1.68 CTR because that's actually not good. And I wanna keep the ad that has the 3.24% CTR. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this ad and we're good to go. Now, if you're paying attention to my screen, you're probably thinking, wait, Lewis, why did you pause that ad when it had a cheaper cost per click than the other ad? If I pull the date ranges together, you'll see here, the ad I pause right here, actually has a poor performing conversion rate. Now in order to really see this, and I already knew this because looking through the account, you have to zoom out a lot more. So if I do, let's say 180 days up to today, and I get this date range, I'm gonna turn off compare really quick. So I get a bigger sample size. I'm gonna go over to the conversion rate. You can actually see that the ad that I kept live has a pretty healthy conversion rate versus all the other ads here. Maybe we got one that's good here actually that could be turned back on. So we have a pretty healthy CTR here. CPC is looking pretty good. Got a qualified lead. I'm actually wondering why this ad got turned off. So maybe it was performing poorly in the past or had a down week or two and we turned it off. But looking at the historical data, this one's actually performing pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one back on. And it's using the same format as the ad that's winning right now, which is the one that's not mentioning the industry specific keywords in the description. So that's another data point that I'm gonna to use to say, okay, this is a good ad to keep on. So I found another ad and what I'm doing is I'm just going through the CTR. I'm trying to improve our ad CTR here so we can get our cost per click down. And I'm just gonna keep following down this rabbit hole to see how much I can improve the results. Cause that seemed to be the main issue when I was auditing this account as the CTR has been going down steadily. What I'm gonna do is since I'm not the only one in this account, I can already see that I'm about to pause more ads too as well. It's good to zoom in to see the recent data and the changes over the past couple of weeks, but then you also wanna make sure you zoom back out. So before I make an optimization, I actually wanna make sure my assumption is correct. And I wanna see historically, has this ad had a lower CTR overall? So I zoomed out 180 days, and I'm just gonna look at the same ads to get a better idea of the cost per qualified lead, the number of clicks, and the overall CTR. All right, so this one actually isn't really based around CTR that much. As you can see, ad number one, has a pretty healthy 4.6% click-through rate. Ad number two has a slightly better 5% click-through rate. So just apples to apples, they're like, okay, they're not that much different. Um, CPC is understandably lower on this second ad. But then when I go over to the qualified leads, which is what I really care about for this specific client, I can see the cost per qualified lead is relatively the same, but I have a 10% conversion rate on ad number two, whereas I only have a 7%. And that really adds up over time, especially as we're starting to scale. And then if I look at my cost per conversion, it is noticeably lower than my cost per conversion on the first ad. So those factors combined, I have a slightly better CTR here. I've got a better conversion rate. I have a slightly cheaper cost per qualified lead, and I have a much cheaper cost per conversion. So those factors together are enough for me to confidently turn off this ad. So overall, my goal when I jumped into this account today was really just to poke around and see if there's anything that stood out to me. The first thing that really stood out was a CTR dropping, you know, where we had a pretty decent CTR and having it just go down and down again. Now, typically a lot of things can affect this. It could be keywords you're bidding on, you're changing up, but usually you can boil it down to the actual ad copy, the ad text that you're testing out. Maybe you're letting one run for too long and it's only 1% or 2% lower, but that really adds up, especially over all your ad groups. And that's what's gonna bring your CTR down overall. So made some improvements around that. I paused some ads here and there that were spinning a bit and I paused some other things too as well off screen. So that should help out the account. 
the one thing I'm considering next is actually looking into the cost per conversion because that is where things are increasing, which is not good. Seeing the CTR drop in one direction and cost per conversion increasing the other, even though the client's making money, even though profit margins are high, these are still things we want to hold ourselves accountable to and try to find further ways to improve the results. Another thing I'm checking to as well is I want to see how much of a correlation there is with lower CTR and less qualified leads. I can actually see there's not really too much of a correlation in this top performing campaign that's delivering a lot of really good sales for the client. So I can actually see just there's occasional spikes that happen around the middle of the month. So don't know if it's going to happen again because we're creeping up in the middle of the month. So it looks like things might have another spike again, but then that would lead me to think, why is there always a spike in the middle of the month? And how long has this trend been happening? Let me zoom out further. So when I zoom out further, I actually can't find a strong correlation between the dates and the spikes. So it looks like it was just those two one-off instances. So nothing there, because then I could also maybe find some contextual information, maybe for this specific client, middle of the month is a good time for people to be searching for their, their offering. Um, if it's a certain e-com store, it's seasonality, or if it's a weekend thing that people look for on the weekend, so when they're free. So I always like to think about additional context around the ads as well. And that's where the human element comes in that uh, software can't really help you out with. So that's just something to keep thinking about. There was nothing really here for me to go off of. So I'm going to move on to the next thing. So one thing I really like to check is the auction insights because I can see if competitors are getting more aggressive over time with their budgets and that does directly affect our cost per clicks and CTRs in some instances. We've seen clients literally have their CPCs triple because competitors just went in really aggressive on specific keywords we were going after that were making us a lot of money. So the main thing that I see here is one of the big players in the industry who shall not be named took their impression share from about 15% and their top of page rate from 77% over to about 35 percent and top of page rate about 82 percent so they doubled what they were doing before on some of our best performing keywords and i'm wondering how much of an impact this really has around our ctr and cpc and i'll have to do some deeper digging and figure out which keywords specifically they have been affected and which ad groups specifically but at least now i have some sort of a trail to follow to figure out why my results aren't better than they are currently. So that usually tells me that I might need to switch up my strategy a little bit, adjust my bid strategy, maybe reduce my maximum cost per click or target impression share, because oftentimes you don't really need to pay the biggest CPC just to show up. Even if you're in spot two, spot three, and you have a better ad copy, you can get that click without needing to pay more than the next guy. So that's interesting. I think that's actually a really good thing to look into further. So if you have competitors that have deep pockets, watch out for those guys because they can shoot up your cost per click. And I'm going to say that's probably one of the main reasons we're seeing results go down slightly. So yeah, that's just something else to, to let you know. Again, this is Auction Insights and feel free to just check it out on a per ad group level. So I just wanted to show you how I typically go about auditing the account. This video is kind of off the rails. I really just focused on CTR and ad copy in it, and it's already been an hour, so I'm sure it's gonna be a mess for my editor. I will probably do another video where I focus on different aspects of the different ad accounts. So there's one I wanna talk about auction insights. I wanna talk about how to audit cost per conversion and keywords you're going after. Um, so stick around for that. So I hope you got some value out of this video. I know I kind of went all over the place in that audit, but I wanted to show you a bit of how a freestyle audit can work and what are some common things to check. So just to recap, the CTR on some of the ads are really hurting us. And then also one of the main competitors with very deep pockets have 2x their impression share on some of our highest performing keywords. So we need to iterate and attack back on that. If you have any ideas, please leave a comment below. Would love you to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you on the next video.